Hey everybody, Dan Rubino here with Windows Central and we've got the Lumia 950 here and I want to show you something really cool a lot of people have questions about. This does support, of course, the USB OTG, meaning uh, through the Type-C connector here at the bottom, you can plug stuff in. Now, uh, there aren't a lot of USB Type-C devices out there yet, but there will be in the future. For now, however, you can pick up something like this here. This is a simple Type-C connector that uh, transfers into a, a US, was it USB type A, I believe it is. So it's a little confusing. Um, and you can pick this up on Amazon. There's also this style, of course, a little bit longer. Now we'll be putting in the article at Windows Central, which ones exactly we're using in case you want to order those, as we can't necessarily guarantee that every single adapter will work, but the ones we're using here definitely do. I kind of like this guy, it's pretty small. Anyways, you connect it up to the device this way, and it now allows you to plug in full USB devices. So you may be wondering how would you use this or why it would be useful. And I have here a USB thumb drive, pretty standard, and we're just going to plug it in. And you get that wonderful Windows noise. This is after all running Windows 10, so you should be able to plug in peripherals and get that experience. And now if I go to say File Explorer, you'll see that device shows up there as a thumb drive and now I can scan through. This was a thumb drive that Microsoft gave me for reviewers information, but I also have like photos on here. So I can just tap and open stuff and I you can have full file direct, directory access to anything. I can create directories. It's just another drive basically, just like the internal storage. So really useful if you want to transfer documents. I can imagine people in enterprise would definitely want to use this. Uh, you can you know, open PDFs, you can open HTML documents, Word documents, anything through Office, images, music files, whatever you want, just standard storage, pretty cool stuff. Um, but you can also do some other funny things here as well. Um, let's see if I can find the actual plug. I have a, uh, oh, this is a, an adapter for CF cards. Let's see if that works. This one might not now. So this is an adapter for, oh, there we go. So you can see all the different drives showed up there, uh, including removable disk E. So this is, I'll bring it into the shot here. This is what this is actually connecting to. So it's a CF card for my uh, D700, uh, pretty old school. But if I ever want to transfer photos over or edit them or email them, basically people, I can now do that very simply. Now we're gonna plug this guy in and you'll quickly see what this does. If I can figure out the plug, get that noise again. Oh, and check it out. I now have a mouse on my screen. And uh, yes, it works. You can see I'm opening up the weather document, or weather app, I should say. And I can even scroll. So you can see I'm doing this all here. I can scroll up and down. Uh, I can't close the app, but if I click up here, I can bring down a notification center. Um, you can see I have <laughs> appointments and stuff. Uh, and I can still use the controls here. Now I have seen this before. So basically sometimes it does crash. It depends on the drivers being used. And unfortunately that's going to hang there for a little while. We've also had this happen with the ergonomic keyboard, which did work for a few minutes. And then I got this issue. So there may be some bugs. I'm just going to quickly restart this phone. Okay, we're back. As you can see, uh, plugging in a mouse, you'll get mixed results. So all the drivers maybe aren't there yet, but that's probably not too useful. So we're going to show you something that actually is useful. I'm going to plug in something here. It is a full USB high-end quality microphone. And that kicks in as well. And now I can go to voice recorder and I can go and record using a microphone. Testing one, two, three. I am now recording on this mic for studio quality stuff on the go and hit stop there and I'll play it back. Now there is a little caveat here, which is uh, this microphone also has a speaker output, but it doesn't really work going that way. So in order to play back, I do need to unplug it, but uh, it does record and it doesn't use the phone's microphone. It basically overrides it. Testing one, two, three. I am now recording on this mic for studio quality stuff on the go. So you obviously get the general idea there. Very cool. Lots of potential here for accessories now with Windows 10 Mobile and the Lumi 950 and Lumi 950 XL. Hopefully we'll see some uh, accessories coming onto the market that will utilize this Type-C uh, connector. If not, you can always pick up this adapter here. And if you need more information on that, head to Windows Central. We'll put all the links there that you need. And uh, we'll continue trying different things to connect up. We did try connecting up a Windows phone. That didn't work. Neither does an iPhone work. But uh, certainly external storage and microphones and some other accessories will. So we'll keep playing around. 
Head to Windows Central. Let us know what you think. Take care, everybody.